Believe it or not, the sun is healthy for you, for all of us. Dr. McCola just published an essay on the sun and a video, and his statistics is that for every one case of skin cancer one gets from overexposure to the sun, there are 328 deaths from solar deficiency. The sun is very healthy. Not only healthy, it's necessary. It's the source of life and has multiple impacts on our bodies. And yet, we have a problem with the sun. Doctors, for sure, have a problem with the sun. Dermatologists would rather you stay out of the sun and not only stay out of the sun, but poison yourself, not only through solar deficiency, but using sunscreen. Sunscreen, I mean, we didn't need to have a, a study come out which now says that the chemicals in solar creams gets into the bloodstream. I knew this for years. And I always avoided using sunscreen unless I was in the midday sun on the beach and planning to stay there for a long time. Climate fanatics and the international press also have a problem with the sun. The Democrats have a problem with the sun. How do they, what's their problem with it? They ignore it. They ignore what's going on in the sun and how the sun affects the climate. And they're going to incredible extremes at this point. There was an essay in an English uh, journal that said, the sun is getting hotter every day. And sooner or later, it will extinguish life on this planet. You have to read a few paragraphs down before they say, well, we don't have to worry about it. It's a process that's going to take billions of years. And it's true, all the stars go through different phases and don't have an infinite life. But there's billions of years before we have to worry about solar heat getting out of control. Right now, the sun is in a hibernation mode. It's called a grand solar minimum. There's less ultraviolet rays hitting the planet and it's having a cooling effect. But the main point is the sun is important. It is crucial for life, for health. So it's good to get some sun. To get some sun every day and get your skin a little bit pink is totally healthy. To avoid the sun is to invite disease, whether it be neurological, diabetes, many different syndromes. Part of the etiology is vitamin D deficiency. But the sun is not just about vitamin D. The rays are, have multi-benefits. So get some sun.